Are you drooling in celebration? Yeah. You're getting so much milk. Yeah. Mm. You ready to show the world your house? Hello, YouTube. Here comes Moon. Can't wait to decorate. There's so much we can make. How will it turn out? OMG, we bought a house. Hey, door. Coming. Oh, hello. Come on in. Oh my gosh. Look who it is. Looney. What is that thing? Hi, <laughs> that's all our creative weirdos. Say hello. We're still working on hand-eye coordination, but we'll get there. Guys, this is our first video back. Welcome, Welcome back. back. We are back in action. We just have one more member of the family, and we thought the perfect video back in action after Moon's Landing would be to do our final house tour, because we never did that for you guys. And not only is our family complete, but our house is complete. OMG, we bought a house. OMG, we bought a house. Series Moon, that's final. Do you, you want to give a tour, tour to the, to the your, show everyone your house? I mean, of course, this is Moon's house now. Let's be honest. He's taken over everything. He's taken over our lives, our hearts, and the house. Should we look at the blueprints? Moon's really good at reading blueprints. Are you good at reading blueprints? <laughs> yeah, he's a genius, Joey. Let's go. All right. So okay. we are inside our beautiful 1920 Seven, Seven. Storybook, storybook house. So the style is English storybook, which if you guys have been with us for the whole journey, you know that we really wanted to preserve the vintage appeal of the house because like it's so cool that it's from the 20s and there aren't that many historical homes in Los Angeles. So that was really important to us. When we were looking for a house, it was hard because it's Los Angeles. There's not a lot of single family homes and the market is intense. So. Yeah. One of our secrets was we only looked at homes that were on the market for like three plus months because it kind of gave you an opportunity to get something that for some reason wasn't selling. So we saw this house yep. and it had issues. It was like a gross brown on the exterior. The inside was a hot pot Super dated, yeah. You could tell why it had been on the market for a while because people were like, ew. And so, we so said- we, we snagged it ooh. at the bargain price of $840,000, which I know is a lot of money. It's a lot of money for Obviously, all of you. You don't pay $840,000, yeah. you get a loan. And the reason I'm telling you that is because we're gonna walk you through the transformation we did and hopefully how that increased the value in the house. Yeah. So let's get into it. So this is a two bed, two bath. We have the plans. All right, so our two bedroom, two bath house, we really saw the diamond in the rough when we came and looked at it. It has a beautiful peaked roof. It's got architectural details like arched windows and all of that, but it had bars on the windows and the landscaping had been there literally since the 20s. A couple of the bushes had been there. They were like 90 year old bushes. So we knew we had to sort of spruce up the outside. So our budget saving way of doing that was a coat of paint. Oh, he's got high as she. Keep talking, okay. I'm gonna give him a little tour. All right, so we saw the diamond in the rough. We decided to paint the outside a nice crisp white color. What are the specials tonight, sir? Oh yes, well tonight, we have a nice fine choice of stuccos. May mm. I recommend the white stucco? May I combine two colors? Mm, no, I'm actually kind of a nicer restaurant, so. And then we also totally revamped the landscaping, which was really an important way of making it just seem new and fresh. We took out the 90 year old bush, but kept the root and made it that cool like little planter thing. Dearly beloved. Uh. We thank you for the bush. Oh my God, sorry. It's a big bush. Wait, I'm really sad. It's a slightly too big bush. I'm gonna give it a kiss. And it's a weird bush. Sorry bush. Go be weird somewhere else. What's done is done, and what's done is beautiful. So paint and plants made a huge difference on the outside of the house, but let's come inside, shall we? So you enter in straight into our living room, which has amazing barrel ceilings. That's a historical architectural detail they don't do anymore. We loved it. But 
it was the poopiest color of all colors. Yeah. So we painted out that. What do you want? I like this one. Oh, the one that you did the bigger square on? You're deleting. <laughs> You're leading the witness. You probably already bought one of those. Which one did you buy? Did you buy one of those? You already got one of those colors? I quit. But Joey, but I, quit. I was just for backup just in case. I was a test. Don't you like that one? Where is it? And this is just like our everything room. We hang out here, we watch TV, we eat on the coffee table. Joey had the genius idea of turning our dining table into a coffee table. Ah! Go. Wait. Oh, no, oh, go, 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 go. Oh, wait, go. where? Go Down. where? I can't hold it, I can't hold I it. I got it. No, I, you don't have it, because I have it. Ow! Oh, I hit my knee. Oh, are you okay? So then and you then come you in come from the living room to the dining room. Up a couple of steps to the dining room, which was also the baby poop color. And it had this like built-in cabinet that was kind of like a mint green color. We painted all that out white. Honestly, we didn't even know our son's name was going to be Moon. But ironically, we have this glorious Moon wallpaper on the ceiling. Yeah, this is based off of pictures of the lunar surface because we had this like little tray ceiling happening here really highlighted the architectural details in this house. And then we went a little bit more modern with the light fixture. We grounded it with a nice round table because this is a pass-through room. You pass through from the living room into the kitchen into the bedrooms back there. So a round table is key to kind of move around. We got a photo gallery wall happening over there with memories from our trips and stuff like that, which obviously now that we have Moon, we have to update. All right, so you go from the dining room into the kitchen. Now the kitchen is a galley kitchen, which essentially just means it has one single hallway almost. So one of the things we did is we got a counter depth fridge, which really helped just maximize the walkway space in there. We did a porcelain slab countertop and then this awesome encaustic tile as like the whole backsplash behind the sink area. We also freshened up the cabinets and also changed out the poles to nice brass poles. And then one of my favorite things about this house is this little nook that sits at the front of the house. It has amazing light with windows on three sides of the room and it also has the highest ceiling in the house. And then a building moment from Joey came with the built-in banquet seating breakfast nook vibe. This is like our casual seating area. We sit here, we work here, we eat breakfast. I mean, we use this room so much. And then at the end of the kitchen, it, there was originally a washer and dryer in there. So we completely took those out, put those into the hallway closet and made just a nice little finish area to yeah. that kitchen. And we also opened up the window. There was a window in the laundry room. And so by taking out that door, we now have light at the end of the galley kitchen. So let's take you guys into the back of the house. So you head through the dining room door into what is the landing that leads to the back of the house, the bedrooms, the bathroom, etc. And we had an old coat closet there, which was like a giant closet. It was like a coat closet slash storage. So we took our stacked washer dryer, which used to be at the end of the kitchen, and we put it side by side in this coat closet. And we created a nice countertop using the same porcelain slab that we used as the countertop for the kitchen. So obviously from this point, you can either go into the master bedroom, the guest bathroom, or the nursery. Let's go into the master bedroom first. All right, so you hang left into the master bedroom. This room really like sold the house for us. We loved how much light was in this room and how it opened up to the backyard. We were like, this is gonna be our oasis. So in this room, we changed out the floors because they had those ugly blacker red floors. I really wanted this to be like a spa feeling in this room. And then we decorated with like a variety of patterns. We have sort of like a hotel style bed, like a high headboard, linen coverlet. Oh, he's asleep. He loves being held by daddy. Daddy puts him to sleep right away. Well, actually not right away. <laughs> he was grumbling a bit. My favorite thing was the motorized roller shades. That was key because we have all of those French windows and the French doors that lead out into the backyard. We didn't want to do curtains. It was going to be too cumbersome. And the roller shades are like low profile and perfect. And the fact that they're motorized 
makes it so easy. We don't have to like crank them open and shut. The master bedroom we have recently changed to accommodate Moon because he sleeps in our room. So we have a bassinet in there. And we also changed up this table that's underneath our TV and made it into like a secondary changing station. The nursery is the daytime changing station. We have a nighttime changing station. We have his and hers closets in that room, but they're small because it's a vintage house. So we brought in this big, beautiful dresser, which has a ton of drawers. One of the big projects in the master was that it didn't have a proper master bathroom. Mm -hmm. It was a Jack and Jill bathroom. It was a single sink, and it had the door leading into the other bedroom. An easy way to add value was to make a proper master bathroom to go so we have a master bedroom suite. It's really loud. Oh my gosh, this has been in here for like 60 years to see what's behind it. Ew, what if there's a dead body? Or money? Maybe there's money. <laughs> so now it feels like an ensuite to the bedroom. You can only access it from the master bedroom. And by closing up that door, we were able to put in two sinks. And we left the rest of the floor plan the same. We just updated it with tile and paint. I also love what we did with the tile in the shower. The shower isn't that big, but by adding that pattern tile going all the way up to the ceiling, it kind of makes it feel more grand. We did a seamless floor, so we don't even have like an edge, a curb. It still doesn't look very comfortable. <laughs> right there, that feels better. Oh yeah, it does feel better. Okay. Can you give me a paper towel? Okay, we got a blot, Dad. You're sweaty. Thank you. Thank you. So that brings us back to the center of the house and you have our guest bathroom. Yes, this was the original bathroom to the house. When they made the extension, they blocked in the windows and just left the cavities. And also the tile was kind of cracked in places. The fixtures were ugly and the sink was kind of shoved in where you couldn't even open the drawers on the cabinets. So we made the back wall the vanity. We kept the rest of the floor plan the same. But yeah, we really the liked tile. the arches and stuff in there because it really was of the period of this house. Yeah, and we wanted to keep the vintage quality in there, so we used hexagon tile on the floor, the subway tile on the walls, basically mimicking what was in there before, but just giving it like a fresher, slightly more modern feel. And then we did new fixtures, we did a clear glass shower door, which made a huge difference from like the cloudy one that was there before, and we also got a new toilet. And then we finished it with some of that cool custom artwork. Oh yeah, and it's the guest bathroom, but it's also Moon's bathroom. We give him baths in that tub every night. Speaking of Moon, let's go into Moon's bedroom. All right, heading into the second bedroom. So this is obviously supposed to be the guest room, whatever. This is Moon's room. This was also painted a terrible color. Very saturated, not what we were going for in here. So we painted out the walls. Yep, we did like a three quarter high board and batten DIY. And then on top of that, the sky view that Kate painted. The mural, it's sort of like the forest at night with the birch trees. We wanted it to be like a really magical space, but also stay within the color palette of the rest of the house. And I added some 3D elements to the mural with like real feathers, some brush bristles for whiskers and fur and stuff like that. So when he can actually reach out and touch things, we'll be able to take him around for like a tactile tour. A story I tell him is the bunny gives him the carrots. He takes the carrots to the squirrels who take him to the top of the trees where he meets the birds and the birds fly him to the moon where he gets to dance and play on the moon all day and we stay in the nursery and watch him play. Oh yeah, and then he swings down from the vines on the, the plant in the corner to come back into his room. Okay, so that's the house proper, but the real piece de resistance is outside. So let's head to the back of the house. Okay. We got the yard and the garage. All right, the backyard. <gasps> Look who woke up. So when we got this place, the backyard was a mess. Whoever lived here before obviously liked plants, and we like plants too, but they just went like next level and didn't trim anything. And there well, was... it was also really old. It was, had been here for so long yeah. that just like overgrown. Our goal was to clear it all out so that Moon could have 
grass to run on. So we did that and we made tons of improvements to the landscaping. We did planters on the edges. We put in put a carpus hedges. We completely took out the side driveway because these really old homes in Los Angeles, the driveways are so narrow. You can't even get your car in it anyways. We're gonna get all this concrete out of here. We're gonna put in the new fence, redo the inside of the garage. We're gonna place these really cool pavers, hammer them in. So it's basically like a giant tile job. We completely transformed this garage. So this garage was just, hadn't been touched since it was built in the 20s. The garage doors didn't work. Like yeah. the floor was cracked and disgusting. So we completely just transformed it. We replaced the garage doors with awesome, gigantic French doors. We added a French door on the other side of the garage. And then we painted a crisp white in there. My favorite feature in there is the roof because we basically kept the old wood shingles that are under the new shingles. You can see them from inside the room and we painted it all white and it just looks so cool, textural. And then we have our infinity deck with these <laughs> awesome lounge chairs oh, over here. Oh, let's go lounge, Mooney. Ooh, lemon water, Mooney. This is the area where we can come and just lounge it out. And drink some lemon water. Moon will not be drinking lemon water, but he will taste it later in my breast milk. So we bought the house for $840,000. We put $156,000 worth of construction costs and labor into it. And we just had it reappraised. And the new appraisal came in at $1.3 million. So if you do the math, we're basically sitting on a profit of $304,000. Hey, bye. I think our key Cheers was- Cheers to that. I think our key was doing cosmetic- Take a sip. Was doing cosmetic fixes. Uh, Doing a lot of DIY. And transforming that raw garage space into a new usable space. And also embracing the original style of the house. You know, I think a lot of times people try to flip houses and make them like too modern, but this is a vintage house. So like honoring that while refreshing it was really a key for us design wise. And yeah, it was a lot of paint and a lot of cosmetic stuff. We really didn't do that much like heavy remodeling, renovation. We work smart, work creative. And now we we'll want to make some profit. So what, are we moving? No. Is that, is that how Maybe. we're ending? I don't know. <laughs> but guys, that is the end of OMG oh, About House. House.
know, cheers all around. Guys, hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. We have so many videos coming up. We're back at it. We're, we're here, we've got Moon. We're gonna be bringing Moon with us on our journeys as well because we just wanna have him a part of our family everywhere we go. If so. you wanna watch more of the family stuff, vlogs and all that, hit the join button. You can join our members only content, which is vlogs, live chats, all kinds of fun stuff. Cheers to OMG Bada House, it's you done. You guys cheersing. Until the next house, which who knows when that'll happen. But Drink up. Cheers, creative weirdos, we love you. Okay. <laughs>